Everyone speaks about the cracking bones, the wrinkling skin, and the grey hair that comes with ageing. Or the mommy tummy, the back pain, and the lack of sleep that comes postpartum. But a less common subject that people talk about is maintaining sexual intimacy as we age and as we give birth. Now this is usually where the topic of vaginal tightening will start to come in. People often will recommend vaginal tightening to each other like they recommend brushing your teeth. But how aware are we of the risks that are involved? Let's talk about it. You may have heard the word vaginal rejuvenation along with the word vaginal tightening. And it's important that we understand the difference. The term vaginal rejuvenation can refer to a broad spectrum of procedures. But in general, this term is used to describe the procedures that change the anatomy of the vagina either internally or externally. Vaginal tightening can be a part of the vaginal rejuvenation procedure, but it is targeted specifically at tightening the vaginal canal. So what products and procedures are women using to do this? Many women may try and opt for a jowl or a pearl or cream that can help tighten the vagina. Some women may try to opt for using Kegel weights or Kegel balls to try and strengthen the pelvic floor, which can increase sexual satisfaction. And another option which you may not have heard of before is energy-based devices. These devices are wand-like probes that are inserted into the vagina and deliver energy either via laser light pulses or electromagnetic waves. The idea is to heat and ultimately damage the surface vaginal tissue, initiating a healing process that ideally reveals firmer tissue. Lastly, women may consider vaginoplasty, which is a reconstruction of the vagina, usually if they have prolapse or another failure in their pelvic floor. Considering vaginal rejuvenation, vaginoplasty will involve removing some skin from the vaginal wall and tightening it with stitches. These surgical procedures and energy-based devices can have significant side effects, ranging from vaginal burns, scarring, pain during intercourse, chronic pain, altered sensation, and infections. Although the FDA have approved certain laser treatments and energy-based devices, the agency has not approved the same devices for vaginal rejuvenation. As recently as January 2020, the American College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists chimed in, saying there is not enough reliable evidence to support the claims of vaginal rejuvenation, specifically surgery. So, with all these questions surrounding the safety and regulations of vaginal rejuvenation, you may be wondering if there is a safe and effective alternative. And the answer is yes. Because the pelvic floor is the larger structure that supports the vagina, and the bulk of the pelvic floor is muscle, you can tighten it up with safe exercises. Practitioners often recommend Kegel exercises to help strengthen the pelvic floor. Toned and strong pelvic floor muscles help enhance sexual intercourse. However, knowing if you're doing Kegels correctly can be a bit of a mystery. They can be easy to forget and we often don't do them sufficiently enough. This is where external pelvic floor therapy devices like Elatone can come in handy. Elatone exercises your pelvic floor muscles while you're on the go, effectively doing those Kegel exercises for you longer and stronger than you can do on your own. For more resources and if you'd like to learn more about Elatone, I've left some helpful links for you in the description. I hope you found this video helpful and please feel free to leave any questions in the comments.